What is going on boaters and welcome back to another video. You may be wondering Henry where the hell are you? Well I am at my parents house back in Ohio because um, I'm in online school so I figured school is going to be online for quite a bit of time so why not come back and spend some time with my family. So I drove all the way across the country in the middle of a pandemic. Kind of crazy right? I know, but it was lit, you know, 14 hours and we made it home safely. So, you know, I can't really complain. It was a nice experience. But just because I'm here spending time with my family does not mean the content stops for you guys. I cannot do that to you. So, you know, I've been browsing the interconnected webs and I stumbled across some things and I started to go through a whole rabbit hole of motions and, and I found this girl and her name is Maria Malibu, okay? And she was, you know, your stereotypical daddy's money, you know, parents' money, like, brat. And she got her big break from Dr. Phil. Once I saw her Dr. Phil debut, she, she claims to be the queen of Rodeo Drive. And if you don't know what Rodeo Drive is, Rodeo Drive is a street in Los Angeles that has all the super nice stores like it was that it was that street in GTA when you were playing it that the Bugatti spawned on like it was that I've never been to LA before so I, I've never been there in person but I have played GTA so like I've seen it before you know in my game and in my dreams because I, I only dream of eventually going to LA one day maybe I can live there you know It'd be dope. But anywho, so she claims herself to be this queen, right? And she says she wants to be a fashion designer and she spends like $15,000 a week on fashion and and, her, and she makes like $60,000 a year. But her parents give her $200,000 a month from her $1 million trust fund and it's just, why? why? Who, like who created these people, right? Who created these people and how does she get this mindset of being such a brat. So I decided to look more into her and I stumbled across her YouTube channel and all her social medias got gassed up from this Dr. Phil episode, right? And as I'm on her YouTube channel, I, I was going through some of her videos and if I had enough time to put it into like a 10 minute video, I would, but I have to only pick one because all of her videos were trash, bro. I kid you not. All of her videos were absolutely atrocious. Out of all of her YouTube channel, she has three videos posted and she, she mentions in the Dr. Phil episode that she always posts videos on YouTube but gets really insecure about it and then deletes them later. So like she barely has any videos up. But the thing is the videos that are on her page now aren't even all of that. So I don't know what she was deleting before because the videos she made before must have been like <laughs> booty booty because like if, if this is what you are okay with posting then um, I want to know what you weren't okay with posting. But anyways, enough of me just talking about it. Let me go ahead and show you guys because I want you to cringe as hard as I cringed when I saw all this. We're going to pick one and the one I decided to pick from her channel was to Chanel from the Queen of Rodeo Drive, Mariah Malibu. <laughs> oh, hi, didn't see you there. It's Mariah Malibu. But you already knew that. A couple weeks ago, I think a month ago, Rodeo Drive opened and I couldn't have been happier being the shopaholic, fabulous girl that I am. But once it opened, I was ecstatic. I was so, so pleased. So we really know where her priorities are at right now. You know, she obviously only cares about materialistic things. Clearly, I mean, I don't know her as a person, but from what she's putting out on the internet, right? We only know that she cares about materialistic things and that she's a fabulous girl. Does she think that this is a good look? I don't get it. Like, honestly, you get on Dr. Phil for acting like a brat. And now you're like, you're just trying to act even more like a brat. And like, I don't know if it's smart or if it's terrible. Like, what would you rather be known for? Something that you're doing that's good and providing value to the world or entertainment to the world? Or would you rather want to be known for being a brat like like don't get me wrong people have made successful careers from being a brat on dr phil i mean just look at bad baby look at danielle bergoli she <laughs> came on was like oh my god and blew everyone and was like what who is this chick and then she took all that energy took all of it and now it's turned it to fame and turned it to like income but the thing is, I don't think she has the opportunity to get out of that persona because that's who they know her as. So even if she really deep down is a good person and not actually a brat, she can't 
I don't think she can get out of the persona of being bad baby because that's your brand now. But in this girl's case, when I see a girl like this trying to do what like bad baby did, and it's not necessarily working, it just it, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. The only store that I really care about that wasn't open during this process was Chanel. And that affects me. Chanel makes me the happiest girl alive. And I love going into their store on Rodeo Drive. Shorty. Shorty, bro. You need you need some other outlets of happiness because if Chanel makes you the happiest girl in your, of, alive, I don't know what you're doing with your life. I mean, you have money, okay? You should be able to, you know, maybe step outside the boundaries of materialistic things. <laughs> You know, maybe go for a walk and is that a fucking yo, yo, what the fu oh, come on, we're not doing this. There's a fly in here in the middle of my in the middle of my video. This is gonna piss me off. This is gonna suck. I'm going hold on, let me I'm gonna try and kill this fucking fly. Where the fuck this shit go, bro? Get over here, bro. I'm going to smack this fucking I'm not doing this bullshit, bro. No way. Oh, oh my god. All right, if this fly becomes a nuisance in the fucking video, I'm going to, I'm gonna flip my shit. <laughs> we'll let him live for now. We'll let him live for now. So, I'm becoming severely depressed. How much money is it gonna take for you to open up your store for me? Because I can't shop online. Like, no, that's a no for me. Like, am I supposed to shop online looking at pictures of my sh my Chanel? My, my Chanel. Like a peasant? No! <laughs> no! Fam! No! <laughs> she said the P word. She said the P word. What's with all these rich entitled people calling people peasants? I swear, it's their favorite word. You peasant. You Peasant. Even though it would have still felt condescending, I feel like there would have been a better way to say like, I can't shop online because I need to feel the things. Even shopping online is not for peasants. Honestly, shopping online is for the rich folk. You know what I'm saying? It's for the wealthy people, the people who are smart. Because why, why go in the store when there's COVID going around? When you can easily, as long as you know your size and everything, you could easily just order something and have it shipped right to your door. I mean, Amazon has some quick ass delivery. I'm pretty sure if you go on Chanel's website and you got the bread like you say you got the bread, you literally just pay for expedited shipping and get it next day. But no, she doesn't want to be seen shopping online like a <coughs> peasant. Like that may be okay for like some of you guys, but like for me, I can't shop like that. Oh my God, I can't do this. Like I'm having panic attacks on the regular because I can't go into my favorite store. Shopping is my therapy. And I'm smiling because I'm fabulous and I'm always amazing and I look great, but like, I'm dying inside. Chanel, hello, are you there? It's me, Mariah Malibu. I can't do this anymore, you guys. I need to go into the store. Dude, I'm worried about her mental health and her social life just because of the way that she acts. There's no way she has friends. And if she does have friends, either her friends use her because of her money and like the style and the status, or they, they're they dreadfully hating their lives and I think they really need to get a therapist. I mean like this girl, <laughs> yeeks, yikes. If she was parented by my mother and my father, bro, she spanking, spanking. You talk like that, you talk back to me like SPANKING! Yo shorty, where's the belt? Where's the belt? Where's the belt? <laughs> Clap! Whack! She lucky she don't got African parents. She's lucky she don't got African parents because the least of her worries would be Chanel not being open. And the most of her worries would be making sure she can fall asleep before her mommy and daddy get home and give them her ass whooping. <laughs> SPANKING! I'm not like a regular, like, hey, let's go and shop online. Like, no, I don't want to shop online. That's for the regular peasants in the world. There it is again. Why is shopping online for, what's so bad about shopping online? You can get everything you want from the comfort of your home. So 
Hi Chanel, marketing people of Chanel, PR people of Chanel, whoever's working from Chanel that's watching this video right now, hello. Absolutely nobody from Chanel is watching this video right now. Just, you know, your average black man making a video for YouTube. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you. Okay, hear me out. Open the doors for me. I literally, literally do anything to be in that store. Like, um... And your employees will be gaining commission, so if they're not getting paid right now, they can be making some good money because I will, I'm a good shopper. Like, you know me, like, you know me. The more that I can't have something, the more that I want it. Do you want me to wear Chanel only for the rest of my life? What, $10,000 to open the, the doors for me to come in? Like, how much money is it gonna be for you to, you know, open for me? I hate to break it to you, Mariah but you're not special. You may be Mariah, but you're Mariah Malibu, not Mariah Carey, okay? They would probably open them doors for Mariah Carey, you know, maybe a million dollars here to do a little quick little shopping spree, but what, you think 10K is useful to Chanel from you? Yo, Chanel probably sells a bottle of water for 10K. So fuck out of here with that bullshit. They'll probably open them doors for Rihanna, right? But you don't even see those celebrities coming out here saying, oh man, I need to go get my fix of Chanel because I'm itching. I'm worried. I'm genuinely worried about you, sweetheart. I don't want you to let the money go to your head, okay? Your parents, your mommy and daddy have supplied you with a solid $200,000 a month from your trust fund that's a million dollars so it only lasts like five months but I guess they supposedly keep replenishing your money and your weekly spend of ten dollars to $15,000 a week needs to relax, okay? We're in a global pandemic, all right, sweetheart? Sit down, relax, use some hand sanitizer, Spray your mouth with some mouthwash and relax. You can last a couple months without your Chanel, you know? In fact, dare I say, dare I say you take a walk to Walmart. Oh, oh, I said it. I know you didn't want to hear it. You, you didn't even want to hear the words Walmart, but that's where I shop. And I think I got a bit of style. I mean, I just wear white and black. Solid, simple colors. I mean, you can find your little fixy fix in Walmart. I mean, I know they've got some good stuff for the low low. And if you want to give them ten thousand dollars to close the store down for just you, I'm I'm sure they'll gladly take it. But that's just my thoughts. You know, I bought a pack of ten of these for like ten dollars at Walmart. So, you know, what do I know about style? I'm just a uh, Peasant. Like, it'll just be a little private thing. Um, we don't have to get anyone else involved. It'll be super safe. We'll wear our face masks. It's honestly ruining my life. And it's ruining my vibe. Like, I cannot be happy unless I have that. And that's what I want. I can't believe there's actually people in the world like this. Like, damn. I genuinely want to know. I genuinely, how do you get a personality like this? Because you can't just, there's no way this is like genetic. Where are your parents? Like, they need to give you a good ass whooping. That's what you need. You need you need to get your brain fixed because you're worried about the wrong things. And I'm just in awe that this is a true person putting this out on the internet. And it really makes me upset that I can't have it. I deserve to be able to go into whatever store I would like and shop. That's what royalty means. I'm elite and I should be treated as such. This whole experience has already taken my spotlight. Like. Now I can't even drop it, Chanel. Like, what else has this world come to? Like, this world is ending, right? You know? And, like, Chanel not being open for me is just another reason why it's ending. I can't. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> this whole experience... This whole situation has ruined your experience because... Yo, yo, nobody cares about you. I'm so I'm not sorry actually. I'm going to tell you like it is. Nobody cares about you. This is the world. The world's experience has been ruined. The world is in a pandemic. You're not royalty as you claim it to be. Yet you think that this shit revolves around you. Oh my god, yo. Mom, where are you? I need you, mom, I need you. I want my mom to parent this girl because shit, she'll come out, she'll come out respectable. <laughs>
uh, I don't know if she's smart and doing this on purpose because of publicity and like you know you're going to get more views because you're doing dumb shit like this or if she's honestly like this because I mean she was on Dr. Phil so we don't know they don't show their real side they don't they don't they just don't please for the love of everything good in the universe and in the world please open the store for me to let me shop Leave your questions down below and maybe I'll answer yours or maybe not. I don't know. It depends on how special you are. Fuck this bitch, bro. I'm not watching any more of this shit. Oh my god. God damn. You see, this is ridiculous, guys. Please don't tell me any of you guys like are like this girl because if you are, we need to sit down and have a conversation and we need to, you know, fix your values, fix your morals because this shit is fucked, okay? This shit is fucked. Fuck, I honestly to Dr. Phil, you gotta stop giving these people a platform to try and get big on your show. I don't even consider you a doctor. I consider you a TV personality who is now just a chance for bratty young children to try and get their instant second of internet fame and and turn it into something. And and when it's not turning into something, it's just clearly embarrassing so that's just crazy honestly i think that is all for the video ladies and gentlemen hopefully you guys enjoyed i'm kind of getting into the groove of filming content here at my parents house it's kind of different different set so bear with me if you don't like this shot i'll try and work with things you know I, I think it's not too bad let me know what you think down in the comment section below and also give me your thoughts and opinions on this girl because this is intense this is intense, but um, I just want to thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button and also hit the subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you can be a part of the boat family and become a boater yourself because we are the best crew out here on YouTube. We're on our way to the top. Okay, join the fam, join the squad. We litty. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to make sure y'all stay classy. Peace out.